Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about my March favorites. And I feel like my favorites collection that I have in front of me today is like so random, but there are things that I've been consistent, you, consistently using and I just love them. So it's like, you know what, whatever. I don't care if they're random. I'm just going to share them with you because maybe you guys might find you know something useful out of this or new products to try or maybe you might love them too so if you're new here please subscribe I now have an official upload schedule I'll be uploading Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 12 p.m. if you're on the East Coast so uh, let me know if that works for you guys because I'm digging that time and I think I can finally commit to it you know I've had other upload schedules in the past and they just weren't like doable but I think I think I can do this one <laughs> okay so give this a thumbs up if you like this topic and uh, yeah let's get on to the rest of the video okay so this first product here this is from Clinique it's their makeup brush cleaner and this is what I use for spot cleaning my brush I'm just gonna tell you guys this, this is so gross I haven't like actually fully washed my brushes in probably like three to four weeks I know but I do clean them in between makeup application with this brush cleaner it is so good I mean for me I have such a hard time cleaning my foundation brushes or concealer brushes you know they just get so nasty but this stuff gets it all off so that's kind of why I been able to stretch the actual cleaning you know <laughs> thanks to this guy um, I finally found like a spot brush cleaner that I can commit to I've just been the kind of person that like hops around from different cleaner to different cleaner and I finally found my jam so if you guys have tried that cleaner let me know your thoughts down below so far ah, I'm loving it Next up is this little guy from Origins. It's their High Potency Nitamins. I first got this in one of my subscription boxes and I kind of like put it away and was like, oh, whatever, I don't need to try it. And then they sent me like a little care package with trial sizes of their skincare. So I was like, okay, well now that I have two of these, I'm gonna finally try this out. And I freaking love this, you guys. You know, I'm very picky about night creams. They can't be too oily, too creamy. They have to like sink into my skin and it's just like a lot to ask from one product. But I'm really, really surprised. This keeps my skin moisturized without feeling like yucky, you know? I'm not sure how much the full size is. I'll have to put that down in the description box. Um, along with like a link and stuff like that. But I just really like this and I feel like a little bit goes a long way. So this little trial size is gonna last me for quite a while. Moving on, uh, this little makeup product here. This is the NYX glitter in the color, I believe it's bronze. Oh my God, like, I'm just going to say this, you guys. I bought this months ago and it was just sitting around. I think I was trying to do like a holiday tutorial with it and I just never got around to using it. And then I was like going through my little stash and I was like, oh snap, this is beautiful. And it is like, ooh, let me tell you, when you want to take your look to the next level, you put this on your lids with some glitter glue. Oh my God, like your lids will just be like sparkling like crazy um, I just I think it's like my favorite uh, glitter I have a few glitters in my collection but this has just got to be like my favorite shade I just feel like it looks so good on like dark skin tones you know and it's just easy to use and it's uh, it's a dream and next up this is a cute little beauty tool this is the uh, Chella brow tweezer well it's, you know, just a regular tweezer, not just for your brows. But I just love this. I think I told you guys before, I love things that are ergonomic. And this is really good for getting, like, big, noticeable hairs. I will say that it, it doesn't really get, like, the small, teeny, tiny ones. It's not as pointed and sharp. But when you got, like, really big stuff that you're just trying to get, this is so nice. The grip makes it really easy to use. Um, it comes in a cute little case, so it's like travel friendly. And um, yeah, it's it's really grown on me. I love it. So this little guy here, um, I just reviewed this in my previous video. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's a moisturizer and a primer in one. And when you look at the price tag, it'll make you want to scream and run away. I mean, it's $58 for a primer, but 
I hate to say this, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's for oily combination skin, this particular one. They have another one for dry skin. If you guys saw the video, you know, I won't waste too much time, like, you know, singing its praises and glory, but <laughs> I just love it. And now I don't want to use any other primer in my collection. This is all I want to use. Next up, this is a paint pot. Um, I've been using it as a liner. This is the NARS paint pot in Baalbek, an interesting little uh, name here, but it has the most beautiful like serpentine, dark green, shimmery shade. Like it's so hard to describe, but um, I love this as a liner. I have yet to do like a more dramatic eyeshadow look. If you guys want to see that with this, please let me know because I've been dying to do it, but I don't know. I feel like you guys just like more everyday looks, so I've been trying to stick to those, but hey, I'm all down to take it to the dramatic drama side. So let me know if you guys like that. Otherwise, I highly suggest that you guys check this out. It is beautiful as a liner. So the final favorite in my collection is the Pure Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer in the shade Dark. I got this in one of my um, beauty subscription bags and I would have never ever thought to get this concealer. I mean I've never really thought of Pure as like a go-to brand for me for some reason. I've just kind of been like you know I don't know I just haven't really been like here for their products in the past but once I tried this I mean I have this concealer on my eyes the high points of my face it's just so beautiful it looks like your skin and I have you know two concealers that I've been loving lately and this one is the third one so I'm almost out of this trial size which is like breaking my heart I'm gonna have to go buy the full size now like I can't I can't go back. I can't. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Pure Concealer. If you've tried it, if you have it, I want to know. Um, otherwise, you know, go to Sephora or maybe they're not at Sephora. Maybe they're at Ulta. But go to either one and see if you can get a sample of it and try it out. And uh, Maybe you'll be just like me. Maybe you'll love it as well. Okay, so that's it for my favorites this month. I was trying to think of things that I was disappointed in, but I think I'm pretty sure that I've like returned them all. Uh, <laughs> so, and I can't even think of them off the top of my head, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know some of your favorite products that you've been loving in March down below in the comments. Um, and anything that you were like, hell no, I hated that. I never want to buy that again. Let me know so that I can stay the hell away from it. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.